first story about Detroit, the first major city to go bankrupt. In a city of 700,000, 50% of them are unemployed. We've seen young people that were out on the streets selling drugs. The city of Detroit is in its darkest hour. You don't know when God has set you next to your miracle. Somebody praise God in this place. Too many preachers are telling their people, follow the rules. I follow God. feel about us. Burnt out, no hope. Women want a piece of me. No, they sir. They just want the man stick. No, no, sir. Would you vote for a female president? I don't think I would. Women are not the head. A woman president? <laughs> I can't believe you believe that. That's right, I do. Every time I leave you, Trip. I don't like you leaving. You will keep yourself sexually pure till marriage. Thank you, Patty. Girl, just get you a man and flow with it. <laughs> How's that work, having the big home in the Bentley? Don't get it twisted. We need to get on the streets. I'm fighting every day. All you can tell me is bring me money, and I'm going to go get another car. You respect this. They shot a pregnant teenage girl and killed the three-year-old baby. She not coming back. She wasn't coming back. <laughs> God brought you out of that place because he had a plan for your life. If I let go, you don't want to do that. I took the gun and put it to my head. We have those moments as ministers. I want my brother with me, man. I want us together. I'm going to bring my family back together. So it starts here in Detroit, in the hood, and we won't stop until we have the victory. I may be the first African-American governor of Michigan. I'm not a person who thinks out the box. I'm a person who gets out the box. I'm unapologetically me.